and you see all the sand dunes on the side Reef! Why would we want to reef? It's lovely out there Trust me Yeah, it's fine Now this is our new toy, this is like the cruiser's equivalent of a Zimmer Our E-Wincher Look at this baby go That's wonderful Right where are we going? So it's about 1300 miles out to St Helena Pretty well smack dab in the middle of the South Atlantic Right, out there about 1400 miles away is St Helena And some gasping fish because we've got a UV tube that one of the guys on the island needs to kill the algae in his pond and we've kept the poor fish waiting for quite some time so I hope a few make it oh, so long Africa it's been wonderful don't listen to anyone that says don't go to southern Africa it's too scary it's been absolutely brilliant doing its thing and out the back is the Watnam Sea I changed the setting from 20 knots to down to 16 so that should give us a bit more power and in theory we shouldn't exceed 16 knots because the wind's meant to be dying over the next couple of days but I think I might have got it wrong I don't think we'd be getting this much breeze oh there you go Sometimes ocean sailing, you're walking on eggshells. So a new job, time to put on the preventer. And my big bits of elastic. I've since changed these blue braided ropes to three strand nylon to give us a bit more stretch and take out some of the shock. Seems to be working, not pretty, but it's working. View out the back window of the South Atlantic and the view of the crew in the South Atlantic. That's a wee bit chilly. And this was one of the very few ships we saw crossing to St Helena. Might actually have been the only one.
Are we happy? I'm happy, happy. Here's our little favourite task, chopping up the plastic. Get it all into a wee space. And this, this is the walk of shame, oh, this one. This is where all the soft plastics go, like bounty wrappers and picnic wrappers and Mars bar wrappers. And if we get really bored later on, we can put it all back together like it's a jigsaw. Well, quite a nice morning. 20 knots, and we've got... Oh, we used to go yet. 900 and 950 miles or something. Quieter night last night. We left a couple of reefs in, took it a bit more steadily. We got some sleep. And according to the forecast, this runs pretty well all the way to St Helena, 15 to 20. It'd be nicer if it, if it was back to being a little bit more on the beam. But you can't have everything. Brekkie time. Cornflakes, banana and yoghurt. I want my bacon and egg. Oh, yeah. The wind stayed behind and went light. And we toyed with putting the spinnaker up. But with the amount of wobbling about we were doing, I was worried we were going to get a wrap. As in... Yo, sailing cats is where it's at. You can take your mono and shove it in your hat. Jeez, it's like a care home in here. Would you like some biscuits, Mr. Lett? Shout. Right, good morning. Daylight again. Hard to tell, it's overcast. It's been overcast for a thousand miles. And we've been on port track for a thousand miles. And now we're going to jive. <sighs> Okay. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, drop the track. Oh, the preventing are on. Pull up the preventer. Right, see if we can get this baby to go swing. Oh, trip, smash. It's been a wild ride, 1,755 miles to St Helena and we're within 110 right now. Where are we? St Helena! Six days. 22 hours. From Ludicrous. Right, that yellow one there, you see it there? We arrived actually before dawn. We had spent a good half hour in the pitch black at the waypoint in the pilot book, which was wrong, hunting about for the mooring field. And in the end, Johnny came out in his boat and guided us a half a mile further down the coast to the mooring field. Such was the hospitality we enjoyed in St Helena. So, after a bit of knit one, pearl one, and rabbits round the tree and back down the hole, we get tied up to boy nine, and that was us in St Helena. So good morning and welcome to St Helena in the daylight, or St Helena as they like to call it apparently. Just heading ashore now to do custom. And once cleared in, we took down the yellow flag and put up our St Helena flag. That's it. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give us a big thumbs up, please. And next time, we'll give you a look round the island. Thanks for watching.